Hey guys, so it's 4.54 right now um, in the morning. <laughs> We're waiting for the 516 train in Lehigh, the front runner. And Amy and I, we're going to get on and we're going to go to uh, Murray and then get the, on the tracks and head up to the hospital. So yeah. <laughs> Um, my name's Amanda Barton. I'm a senior, um, and I'm going to be talking about um, just a little bit about my story of how um, I was diagnosed and with kidney failure. So it was November of not this last year, but of 2015. I was having some other health issues and we got some tests done and um, what ended up happening, they called my parents and said, do you know your daughter has um, stage four kidney failure? February of last year, I needed to do dialysis. What I actually have on right now is a feeding tube because I've lost my appetite through dialysis. I had another infection and I've had so many infections from um, the dialysis. Like those were the days that I just felt so crappy that like I just felt so sick and I just couldn't do anything. And I have a hope of, you know, um, that just I'll be able to get a transplant sooner than later, so yeah. So the days I come up here, I have to wake up at four, um, take the front runner um, at 5.16. I take the tracks from Murray all the way up here and then I get plugged in. And So um, with this machine here, um, it's basically acting like my own kidneys and it's taking my blood and putting it in here and just kind of cleaning it out and then putting it in that uh, big, dialyzer, I guess you call it, and after it's all clean, then it puts it back in and then it just does that over for three hours. I've learned that just uh, when trials come, that just to um, kind of keep a smile on my face and not worry about what's going to happen, even though I know what I'm going through but I know that in the end that I'll be able to get a transplant later and it'll, everything will be a lot better. This year for Lone Peak Gold Rush, we chose to benefit Make-A-Wish Utah, which was a really cool experience. What they do is they take kids with life-threatening medical conditions and they, if those kids want to go somewhere, want to meet somebody, want to have something, they grant that wish for them. They take donations and they're able to grant it for them and their family, which is such a cool thing for these kids and it really gives them hope. In order to make Amanda's wish come true, our school had to get to work. We invited the community to family-friendly activities like disco skating and talent shows, and spent our afternoons going door to door asking for work in exchange for donations. We took down Christmas lights, cleaned house, and froze our fingers off to earn the money. We sold ads in a brochure and held date nights. All of this combined helped us to earn $42,000. With the money we raised, we were able to grant the wish of one of Lone Peak's own, Amanda Barton. She's a senior here. And we were also able to grant the wish of about seven other kids in Utah. My wish was actually to go to Walt Disney World, so yeah. The morning of the reveal, I got to go to dialysis again with Amanda, which was really fun. We got up super early, went on the train, we played ticket to ride in the hospital room, and we came home on the train, and then we were walking through the school when 
Uh, Principal Bromley and a whole bunch of Disney characters came out of a classroom behind us. She turned around and they were all standing there and she was surprised and it was really cool. And then all of student council flooded in behind us in, in Disney costumes as well. And it was just a super positive experience to have everybody there supporting her and getting her really excited to have her wish granted. She got to do that this past week and she just has had a blast. She loved it. And it was really cool to have our school do that for her.